Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at the new Assets panel. The Assets panel has been combined into a single panel. Instead of having one for stencils, one for structures, and one for paths, these are all uh, something you can toggle on and off depending on what you're using in your project. Now on the right, we have stencil libraries, structure libraries, and path library. Now these can be set into groups. You can show and hide each type of group, just like in our other library folders. And to create a group, right click, you can rename, remove, add group, or remove a group right from this dialog. Double clicking on the name allows you to rename it. On the left side, you can show small or large icons. So you can see more inside here of the path library or inside the other libraries. Let's look at adding or removing. So we're going to open up the stencil library. You can see we've got these stencils. I'm going to paint a lovely heart down here. We're going to choose from the context menu, create stencil from layer alpha. You can see we've got this wonderful stencil heart. Now we have this stencil over here on the left. We're going to tap on it and we're going to choose add current stencil to library. You can see it here in the library. If we don't want it in the library, we can use remove stencil. We can also right click here and choose remove or rename right here in the assets panel. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how to show and hide paths. So you can see we have a couple of these triangles here. Let's remove one, so we're using just one. The very center circle, this allows you to drag this around the canvas. I have ink brushes and the wood pen selected. If I want to draw here right on top of the path. And let's move this over and hide our assets. Let's rotate our selection, drag it, and using the left node, I'm going to make it larger. And then let's draw around the outside again. The bottom context menu gives you the option to flip horizontal, flip vertical, to reset orientation. You can lock the aspect ratio and you can lock the position so that it can't be moved around the screen and you're only going to be able to draw in this one section. Unlocking the aspect ratio will allow us to bring it wider and narrower, taller or shorter. And in order to hide it, we can click here on the X. This works for halves, and stencils the same way. So we open up a stencil. You notice it has the same options here. We have additional two options of border, which will fill out the outside so only the stencil area can be filled in, or tile. The stencil is a great way to paint and have it contained. For structures, we have very similar options. You can choose tile and get it to cover the entire canvas. Let's go ahead and click on the canvas. You're going to notice that this uh, looks like it deactivates. It's actually just making itself less apparent in the background. And when we paint on our structure, you're going to see that the water moves off of the high points and low points. Now the assets panel itself has a context menu, open panel menu. Here you can create stencils from an image file, from alpha, from layer, from layer alpha, layer image, layer mask, selection, structure, path. Here you have an option to create a path from a vector file, which you can import from Illustrator 
or another vector program. And here we have the option keep stencils active when hidden. So if we turn this on and we turn on a stencil, just hide it and then you can see right here we can paint our beautiful butterfly. Let's use the create stencil from image file. Here I'm going to select something with a lot of strong white in it. This one is cat and raven. So what we're going to do is paint over the top and let's hide it. If you're creating a stencil from an image file, then using something that has a strong white in it or a very strong black with contrast in between will help making this stand out and pop. Let's go ahead and do one more. We're going to go create stencil from layer alpha. And let's drag this over to the side and paint right on top. This will be a little bit more rough because we're going from something sharp to something watercolory with the fusion and then even further you can see we've got this wonderful crackly gritty grungy stencil that we can now make more replications if you have questions on the new assets panel please put those questions in the comment section Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.